Imagine this new building filled with apartments, retail and restaurants in Waldo. A popular bar is behind the push for the new development. KSHB 41 News reporter Megan Abundance shows us what we can expect. Waldo is like one of these like perfect little gem neighborhoods. The heart of the neighborhood could be at 75th and Warnall an intersect of the trolley track trail. Waldo is, is a very historic neighborhood. At one corner is the well. So a lot of people know we're famous for our rooftop. It's been there since the streetcar ran in the 1950s, but some say its future could be improved. We've just been sitting over here at the well and we've kind of got an underused space behind us that's ugly. Chris Llewellyn says he wants new neighbors and came up with an idea for a full block development. 12,000 square feet of rest restaurant and retail space, 289 apartment units, and a 377 stall parking garage. On the bottom, we're going to bring the well back bigger and badder and uh, nicer. Jeremy Tinkler, the full length of Broadway will have will have retail uh, along the, the entire extent of it, is behind the design. And it's really um, a fun entertainment area. Um, it just hasn't seen uh, the kind of density that I think um, uh, it could benefit from with new residents. Some agree it's a good thing. It's going to make Waldo uh, even more attractive to both the homeowners locally, but also people to visit the neighborhood. For more people to come here, for people who work here to be able to live here as well. We met with um, the Ward, Ward Parkway Homes Association, Tower Homes uh, Association, West Waldo Neighborhood Association, uh, the Waldo Business Association. So uh, we've been meeting with a lot of folks, um, soliciting that feedback. I do think it's important to take uh, into consideration affordable housing. The project's price tag is $80 million, funded through private equity and lending. An investment in Waldo and really bring bringing um, more retail, more commercial space, adding jobs, not just uh, part-time construction jobs uh, over the course of the two-year uh, period, but also permanent jobs and permanent residents. I know the neighborhood's going to have to sacrifice a little bit during construction, but the well's going to sacrifice too. Uh, we'll be closed for uh, at least a year. Other people I talked to today about the project say they're actually torn. They know this area needs more housing and more updated use, but they wonder about the viability of it as well as the timeline construction and when it comes down to the price tag. Uh, aggressive plan indeed. Megan, any word on the timeline for this project? Spoke with the developer today. They say they are in the final stages of city planning approval. They're hoping to break ground in the summer and then a two year construction timeline. Now we did ask if these units would be considered affordable. They say they're still determining the apartment costs and that will come later down the road. In Waldo, I'm Megan Abundis. Back to you guys.